your tongue is your result which reflects your heart good morning all of you first of all i would like to pay a special gratitude towards caf sir who has given me this golden opportunity to sit before you all and share my opinion regarding this topic as we all are here gathered to discuss this topic we all are here, uh, we all came here to uh, know about the society to speak fluent english but why we are learning this english what is the main reason behind this because we want respect from the society and how we can earn this respect by sharing our opinions to the society and how can we share this opinion to the society by using our tongue as i said our tongue reflects our heart yesterday we had a very good discussion on the topic inner beauty versus outer beauty but what is inner beauty uh, we uh, there are a lots of person celebrities and the uh, philanthropist person who who, you, who are not that much beautiful but still they beautifully contributed Uh, uh, towards the nation we are having a great example of mr apj abdul kalam who is not that much uh, handsome and we can say good looking person but still no one can uh, 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 no one can told him that he is uh, not that much uh, beautiful uh, that much handsome what is the reason behind this because he is having a good heart and he used to uh, and he uses his heart uh, to coordinate the uh, to coordinate with the people here we all are gathered to know how to we, we all we all know how to respect but the reason i have seen in the youths especially in the youths that to achieve our goals to become something in life to become successful we are forgetting the respect we don't know what is self respect even if i talk about self respect we are ready to do anything just to achieve what ever we want to achieve i personally feel which is not good if you are confident towards yourself if you are confident towards your dream if you are confident towards your ambition then obviously you are able to achieve it after uh, after disrespecting yourself you cannot achieve success if even if you are achieve success and that platform which you really want to achieve i don't think you are that much satisfied we all want uh, to be respected towards the society but there are a lots of way by which we are able to achieve respect money power is not the only thing by which we are able to achieve uh, respect from the society right. even if even there are a lots of person i don't know uh, many of you do you know about the person who used to uh, do charity of the uh, i what's the name robin hood robin hood army <laughs> you guys knows about robin hood army you know what he used to do he used to collaborate with the uh, he used to collaborate with the restaurant and distribute the uh, fo- uh, food to the poor exactly right means he is not using money he is not using power he he is just using social media sites to provide the a food to needy people exactly. it means if we are very passionate about our future if we are passionate what we are want to do then we are able to achieve whatever we want to achieve Exactly. There are great examples set by the youngsters and the a lots of persons. Even if I talk about today's generation, as I mentioned about uh, Robin Hood Army and uh, M B H I Wala, one of my friend mentioned about M B H I Wala. Yeah, they set an example for us exactly. that if we want to achieve something, no matter what society thinks, no matter how much money you are, uh, how much money you have, no matter how much power you have, if you really, as I said, na, as I said that. your uh, your heart is reflected by your tongue so it's very important to use your tongue to uh, give respect to others even when you started giving respect to the people then only people started giving respect to you this respect is not just mean that you resp- i know we all respect our parents but why we are not respecting the people who used to who is elder than us even i have seen a lot of person i a lot of a lot of youngster who were riding on the bike and when some old people come they used to say Chalsa. in uh, in appropriate words exactly. to that old persons which is not these things reflected your background exactly. and i know we all are uh, we all are belong to very nice background but i want uh, to tell you please re- uh, use your tongue in that way which shows that yeah we are that indians who used to respect that people even who, who we are not aware with that persons exactly. i'm having such a great audience who is li- uh, who is listening me very carefully so can you please give, 
uh, can you please give me some examples of uh, the people who are contributing towards the nation in these days? Uh, For me, I think Sonu Sood is there. Yeah, Sonu Sood. Exactly. We are having great examples, great people. I, the, what I said, just believe in yourself. Believe as there is a, uh, you know, our mind is divided into three parts. Uh, one of them is subconscious mind if you are subconscious subcon if you are able to make your subconscious mind believe in yourself believe in your ambition then you can do anything which you want to do exactly. just start believing yourself start respecting yourself because when you respect yourself then only the society will going to respect yourself respect your society exactly thank you wonderful fantastic how was it please the heart your tongue is your result. Finally, see, observed from here, reflected from the heart, I did the points and became true. Wonderful. I think, you know, like she was giving the example of the become the reason of some needy people. The people are just going to respect you in our society. We are not giving becoming the reason. And she is giving the example of that it reflects your background exactly. When you abuse the people, say, Kiske ghar ka hai hai? Isko mili hai. So can you see your papa? as an insulted person not at all but when you disrespect other people it means that you are reflecting your background by your abusive words right? exactly right there was a person now we are just talking about the needy people exactly absolutely when you just do something for needy people you become the reason of someone there's a smile exactly right there was a person name I will not take name I will tell I will just say the story you will automatically come to know about that person if you know there was a person who used to pass through away, and there was a woman always used to throw garbage. Yes. All right, you to uh, maybe some of you guys may not know. Let me complete it. I will tell the name as well. There was a person used to you know pass through away, and there was an old woman. All right, she used to throw the garbage every day. And he used to do like this and go away from there. There was a day I she did not throw because she was not feeling well. Actually, she was not okay. That person went to at her home. Excuse me, Buddha Yamma, uh, are you okay because you did not throw the garbage today? As he was shocked. Oh my God, what a kind person he is. He was actually Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet in Islam that, that we admire exactly, right? This is called the real euphemism. 